If you've been watching my videos, I can guess that you can guess about the kind of advice that I'm going to give to my nephew. <clears throat> my nephew comes from a, uh, a middle-class background, maybe, maybe a little more than that. So uh, he and his fiance, I think, expect a, uh, a very nice wedding. Now, what does that mean? Well, I talked to my brother-in-law, and he belongs to a very nice country club, and he said, oh, yeah, we'll probably have the wedding here, and it's 200 people, and it's $250 a per... I mean, right there, that's $50,000. I mean, that's already much more than the average wedding. The average wedding costs 33000 Here, they're up to fifty, and then he goes, oh, yeah, I have this nice band, blah, blah, blah. They usually charge... 15,000, but I think I can get them for 10,000. I mean, okay, now you're at $60,000. And uh, I don't know, when you're doing all these costs, do you start to put in the, the limousines and the, and the church and the, and, and the dress and you start adding all this stuff up? I mean, you know, where are you going to end up? You're going to end up at $80,000 or more? Now, I'm not saying run off to Las Vegas and, you know, get married for 50 bucks in the Elvis Chapel. But, I mean, I do, my advice would be, I want you to think, okay? I want you to be able to think beyond one night, one day. I mean, you can have a core group of friends. I mean, do you really need 200 people? I mean, 40 or 50 people, maybe catered. I mean, you know, you can do this for a lot, 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 lot less. If you can figure out a way to have that extra money go towards what? What am I going to say? I'm going to say, I don't want to see you spending $3,000, $3,500 or whatever they spend on rent. They live in a townhouse. They have, you know, a very nice townhouse. I mean... Can they downgrade to a one-bedroom condo? I mean, buy a nice one-bedroom condo for, let's say, $200,000 and maybe use $50,000 if you can collect this, <laughs> figure out how to collect, not spend the money <laughs> on the country club and, it's, and instead get this money together to use as a down payment on a one-bedroom condo. I mean, that, that might not seem like exactly what you want to do, but I'm saying if that gets you your first very nice property and you own that for two years and you refinance that and then you get something else and, well, you know my program. So I don't know whether my nephew would listen to me. I don't know whether his bride would, you know, Panic, oh my God, you know, it's the biggest day of my life and, you know, I'm not going to just take the money and, you know, throw it away on real, you know, well, I'd say you're really not throwing it away on real estate. What you're really doing is setting yourself up financially so that you're ahead of your peers. I mean, you know, most people at 25, 26, 27, they don't own their own house. Here, you're going to own a, you know, probably a, a fairly nice condo. So are you willing to do that? Are you willing to look and to talk and to say, no, we want to have a very nice life together, a good financial future for us and for our hopefully children that come and, you know. And again, you know, you want to be the people who say, you know, I want the option of, you know, going on, going to Disney whenever I feel like it and not just you know, the average people who only can go to Disney once every five years, if forever, if ever. So, I'm going to give him this advice. I don't know whether he'll take it. I hope he would take it. I hope anyone who hears this would be thinking, you know, do I really want to spend all this money on one night? Or would I rather have a piece of real estate? I, I you know... What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Tell me how I can help my nephew.